Hi, I'm Fiona Graham. I'm Editorial Director at Light Reading. And I'm here virtually with Eric Josefsson from Ericsson. He's in Sweden. I'm in London because of the pandemic. Um, so let's get started. We're talking about um, 5G smart manufacturing today. Um, 5G, it's been described as a catalyst for manufacturing 4.0. Why is this, Eric? So we're really in an inflection point for the first time that the next G is also done for industries. 1G, 2G, 3G and 4G was all about consumers. Now 5G is built for connecting robots, connecting machines, remotely control into like a, a mine or any other industrial site. So the type of use cases that 5G is built for is different. It's not just consumers with stability and the security. And when do you see wireless overtaking wired infrastructure? That's a good question because today majority of all industries are wired. We put cables and kilometers and kilometers of cabling. In our estimates, we see that it costs around 200 euro per meter to put just a single cable out there. And that can go all the way up to 17,000 US dollar per meter in the most extreme cases. So it's unsustainable to put cables and connect everything with cabling. But until today, majority of all the solutions like Wi-Fi, LoRa, Zigbee, Bluetooth has not been stable or secure enough. Now, with our new standards into 5G, we believe that we have a wireless technology that can really take off. And we will see our prediction and CAGR on 9% over 2024 to 2030 and around 4.7 billion connected devices in factories in 2030. So it will be significant rise of wireless in the coming 10 years. Great. So why is it only now that wireless over a mobile network platform is, is a possibility? It has actually been there and available for a long time. When we introduced LT 4G, it was done for consumers. But as we see now, step by step, more use cases have also been adopted by industries. So aha moment for many industrial partners that I talk to is that you can actually get started today with LT and then move in towards 5G. But the type of powers that we unleash with 5G, with the stability and the security, but also uplink and downlink, low latency, when those stars align, that's why we believe that wireless will for real take off now for industries, which hasn't happened before. It's always been a little bit problem, either with the security or with the stability. But now we believe we have enough uh, stars aligned that we can move forward. And what kind of um, return on investment are you seeing from installing cellular enabled um, Industry 4.0 solutions? Yes, we did a study and we looked into a tier one manufacturing plant in Japan and also a tier one manufacturing plant in uh, Germany, electronic and automotive. And it turned out that over a five years period, it was 10 to 20 times ROI if you deploy a dedicated cellular network and reap the benefit of uh, full flexibility and digitalization. What are the main use cases that Ericsson's seeing with this technology? The first step is actually just connect the things that weren't connected before. Uh, we believe that you can spray your factory with sensors and uh, have at least one sensor on every square meter soon, which means that would not be sustainable with cabling. And also the new type of more cool use cases that uh, the shiny objects that people look into, but like AMR, autonomous mobile robots, AGVs, autonomous guided vehicles, AR, VR, everything will be connected, but it starts with a small sensor and moving into more advanced use cases. And what are the risks for companies that you know, are slow to adopt or, or choose not to adopt this type of smart manufacturing? Yeah, our study showed that there is a clear cost of inaction. If you just sit and wait, there will be competition and others moving much faster. And we can see that now across the globe too, where China is investing heavily into smart manufacturing and digitalize their industries. Same thing in the US and also in Europe. So it's a race. You want to be first on reap the benefit of digitalization. 
when we looked at uh, this electronic production and also the automotive production, it turned out that over these five years, if you don't invest in, for example, cellular, you would have lost the production of 17,500 cars in that automotive plant, or 970,000 pieces of electronic equipment in the Japanese plant. So there is a cost of inaction if you don't act now. Thank you very much, Eric. It's been really interesting. Um, and yeah, looks lovely and sunny in Sweden. So I'll let you get back to your day. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. <laughs>